It is literally part of the landscape. You see public art every day. But Ted Reinstein wonders, do you know what you're seeing? We walk past them every day. Statues, monuments, memorials, plaques. But what do we really know about these icons of history? A curious Joe Gallo wanted to know more. But the only books he could find? They were black and white. Uh, the information on it was, was esoteric, and it was written by scholars. And, and it was, they did very good work, but it wasn't exciting, interesting for the every man. Including Gallo himself, whose own interest was piqued when he moved to the waterfront from the suburbs. He took long walks, camera in hand, taking note of Boston's wealth of bronze and stone. So I thought, maybe I'll create a book that's colored and a little bit more exciting and also help direct the public by having an introductory map in each chapter. He titled his book, Boston Bronze and Stone Speak to Us, because he was so moved by this memorial, a tribute to lives lost in the 1972 Hotel Vendome fire. What inspired me about this monument from Ted Clauston was the stories of these nine men who passed away and the direction in which it pointed to this empty fireman's coat and hat. A lot of these sculptures, there's no name. And so I try to research it to give these people credit. Gallo acknowledges that he's not a writer, not a photographer, just a lover of history. I was trained as a scientist, so I try to be as factual as I possibly can. But I try to make it somewhat interesting uh, for myself and for the public to read. It's a guidebook, but also as an introduction to further study. There's so many different aspects of Boston's 400-year history. Joe Gallo's self-published book sold out almost immediately. Not bad for what he calls an experiment. You could call it a testament, though, to the value of public art and the fan base for our heroes of history. Joe Gallo couldn't be happier. No doubt, Abigail Adams would also approve.